Let's do one more. We're going to switch to Movie Info Service. And for obvious reasons, I'm just going to blaze through this. I'm going to create a new Java class. OK, so what I've done here is created a movie uh, class, which is going to be the container, very similar to what we did there. right? So I'm going to call this rest controller and then uh, request mapping to let spring know that it needs to be called at slash movies. This part is going to be a variable. All right, so I've hard-coded the movie ID. Well, I've hard-coded the test name, and uh, the movie ID is what's getting passed over here. And this is going to be accessible at movies slash movie ID. Now, here's the tricky part. You can execute this. But can you guess what happens if I execute this? Exactly. You're going to run into port issues, right? So I'm going to show you what that is, and um, we'll have to solve that. So I've run the main method again, just like I did the other one. You can use anything you want. One of the advantages of microservices is since you don't have a single code base and they're all communicating through REST, you can use different technologies and still have them communicate through REST. The, the thing that actually implements the microservice could be anything. As long as it speaks REST, you're fine. Well, it's a matter of preference. Okay. Uh, there are a lot of other uh, technologies which do similar stuff. I think Spring Boot is more comprehensive. And I think they've made the developer experience very easy. So that's one of the reasons why you would want to use Spring Boot. But then there are other technologies which are pretty, um, I think they're all getting there. They're all evolving, and things keep changing. Just a matter of preference.